Alright, hello everyone and welcome back uh, to some more Zero Time Dilemma and we're gonna go back and push the button. Carlos, why? No, no, Akane! Hey, um, you did good, Carlos. Junpei? You dedicated your life to saving people, so this is probably hard for you. But what you did is... Stop, stop! Carlos! It wasn't me! Someone took my hand and... Uh, you're not going to say the devil made you do it, are you? Made me? Uh, maybe it's stress, or you've always had that urge buried deep down inside. Blamed your bad judgment calls on something controlling you? Come on, it, it's just part of being human. Uh, life experiences. You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justifiable. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Now, I'm sure you would like to get out of here immediately. But before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep again. But why? Uh, it is 1929. Time for good kids to be in bed, or something. You have done exactly as I commanded. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. It would be inconvenient if you forgot you caused the deaths of others. I killed all of them. Pleasant dreams. This is... The decontamination room. Decontamination? Huh. This is weird. Weird? I feel like I've been trapped in this room before. You must be imagining things. I guess. This button... I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, something isn't right. Maybe we've forgotten about this place. The drugs and the bracelets? What?
announcing the current casualties. Q Team, Q, Mira, Eric, D Team, Diana, Vi, Sigma. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X passes will be revealed. Self, Rip, Lake, Bird, Twin, Old. That is all. That's right. I... It would be inconvenient if you forgot the cause of the deaths of others. Wow, uh, that was fast. Huh. We put these passwords in and we can reach the surface. But to get them, the other teams... Uh, it's not your fault, Carlos. I've been busting my ass for the past ten years. I wanted to save as many lives as I could. I worked hard to do that. Leucochloridium. Or Spinocordodes teleniae. Have you heard of either of these, Carlos? Uh, why are you suddenly... They inhabit and control the actions of creatures larger than them. Parasites. Are you suggesting we were controlled by whatever that was you said? Leucochloridium are snail parasites. Praying mantises and grasshoppers get Spinocordodes teleniae. So they don't attach to humans? Correct. I've heard of one, however. Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma gondii? Rats with toxoplasmosis no longer fear their predator, the cat, and are in fact drawn to the smell of their urine. The rats are attracted to cats? For humans infected with toxoplasma gondii, changes in actions and personality have been reported. You become a risk taker, your reactions slow, or you become extremely sensitive. Are you saying Carlos pushed that button because of something like that? I don't know. But it's more realistic than saying you were possessed by a devil. A human controlling parasite. Huh. Are you guys ready? Yes. No problems here. All right. Then let's put in the passwords. It opened. It opened. Let's hurry. The door will close right away. Hey, what? What are you standing around for? Carlos? I... I can't leave with you guys. What? Huh? I made a promise in another history that I'd definitely save you two. Another history? What nonsense are you babbling about? Come on, hurry up! Later, guys. Carlos! Carlos! Just hang on. I'm going.
to go save you now. Oh. What happened? I... I... I see. Interesting. Did you push the button? Does this mean we're going to be saved? But then... The others will... You... You killed them! C Team and D Team are gonna... No, we did. We had to do this so we could survive. There was no way around it. But... It's not my fault! I told you from the start not to push it! What? What are you talking about? It was obvious you were planning on pressing it. But you're the one who actually did! It was your hand! You pushed it! You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. Why? 1929. You have done exactly as I commanded. The memory loss drug will not be ejected into the three of you. No. No. I didn't do it. He's the one who pushed it. So he's... It would be... But I already told you. I, I didn't kill anybody. I was only watching. Dad, I was just watching. Jesus. No. Not again. Chris didn't do anything wrong. I was the one who. Please forgive him, Dad. Cold. It's cold. The water was so. so cold. Pleasant dreams. Mom. It's the decontamination room. Decontamination? Uh, I think we've been trapped in this room before. Is it just deja vu? <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. So do I. Wait, this button. It's the same for you, Carlos? You feel it as well? Yeah, not just her. I sense it too. Somehow, this button is very important. Hmm. Maybe we lost our memories of it. The drugs. In the bracelets. Then... What in the world?
This is... The lounge? <sighs> what happened in the decontamination room? It would be inconvenient if you forgot to cause the deaths of others. <sighs> That's right. I... That button. Now announcing the current casualties. C-Team. Carlos, Akane, Junpei, D-Team, Diana, Phi, Sigma. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X-Passes will be revealed. Dream, Key, Quark, Mom, Deer, Arm. That is all. It's a lie! Everyone, everyone! Uh, uh, yeah! Eric. Oh no, I... What have I done? No need to blame yourself. All you did was make the right choice. <laughs> but... Forget about it. We need to focus on what's next. We have six passwords. So can't we leave? I... Uh, overreacted a, a bit. But you know, maybe it's, it's better this way. What I mean is... I... I know we're all in danger from this game. But instead of being forced to kill each other, it's just a vote. And a press of a button. Yeah. Plus, we're just put to sleep after. So to suddenly learn the whole thing is over? Wait, what if it's not just that? The amnesia drugs. In the bracelets. Maybe we didn't get injected this time. But what if every time we wake up, we have to go through the same scenario over and over again? and we're put to sleep after each one. Our memories of it, gone. Give it up. We don't need to talk about this. Let's just get out of here. He's right. Let's, wait. Aren't we forgetting someone? That's so mean. Why in the... Let's see if we can get it off. Hey, about before... You were saying we're repeating our actions with no memories. It's like the Sleeping Beauty problem. The Sleeping Beauty what? It's one of the famous paradoxes. The experiment starts on a Sunday. The subject is put to sleep, and then a coin is flipped. If it's heads, the subject is woken up on Monday, asked a question, and put to sleep again. And that's it. That's all they do for heads. And if it's tails? They're woken up on Monday, asked a question, 
and put to sleep. But that's just the same as heads. To that point, it is. But it's different after that. After the subject falls asleep again, their memories from Monday are erased. They are then asked the same question again on Tuesday. What's the question? What was the probability it was heads? That's it? Yep, that's it. Hey, how is that a problem then? It's obvious. There's a 50-50 chance of it being heads. You'd think so, normally. Uh, but when you're being asked it, there are three positions you could be in. The coin was heads. It is Monday. The coin was tails. It is Monday. And the coin was tails. It is Tuesday. That would make the probability of it being heads as one in three, right? No. I don't think so. It's a coin, so it'll always be 50-50 odds no matter what. Okay, let's change some things. If heads appears, it's the same as before. But if it's tails, it ends up repeating 10,000 times. 10,000? Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Go through this 10,000 times. Does the probability still stay as 50-50 after all that? Uh, uh, huh. Thinking about it, wouldn't the chances of it being tails be higher than heads? If you put it that way, yeah. So, w which one is correct? No one knows. They don't have an answer yet. Even the scientists can't decide between one in two and one in three. It's an unsolved problem. Huh. <laughs> you know a lot about this. I read a random book on it once. Well, it was on metempsychosis, but they deal with basically the same thing. Metempsychosis? What is it? Wouldn't waking up without your memories be just like being reborn? Oh, yeah, that sounds similar. Uh, huh. I, I'm not really sure. You don't believe in it? I meant there's no real meaning. Because when you're reborn, all the memories you had during your past life are already gone, right? Well, that means metempsychosis isn't really needed. If there's no memories, there's no point? Well, no one can perfectly remember things that happened when you were a kid. Hell, sometimes you can't even remember something from a month ago. So... Going by what you said, everything you did before a month ago has no meaning? Uh, uh, huh. She's asking if memories really are that important for making you who you are. What is important then? Well, something must be. Well, it looks like we can't do anymore. We're gonna have to give up here. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. No way around it. We did everything we could. Come on, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead.
It opened! Okay, let's go. Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? I... I... can't go. Huh? I can't leave him behind. I'm sorry. I decided that I... I wonder why. Maybe it's because I don't have memories? I know nothing about the outside world, so I guess I didn't really want to leave. Did I make the right choice? Or was it the wrong one? Yeah. <laughs> That must be it. Diana, what did you just... Are you kidding me? You just finished begging me to trust the others! What the hell was all that for? Answer me, Diana! I, I don't know. I don't know why I pushed the button. Not again. What do you mean? Our vote back at 1330? Diana chose C-Team instead of going along with what was on the note. I asked her why, and she said the same thing as now. I don't know. That's ridiculous. I don't know about that. I know. What? I'm saying, I know what you don't know. My thought earlier, that we probably... You made a wise decision. You sacrifice the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justifiable. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Now, I'm sure you would like to get out of here immediately. But before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep again. 1929. Our time is up. You have done exactly as I commanded. The memory Dude, loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. Broken. It would be inconvenient if you forgot you caused the deaths of others. No! How did this happen? Pleasant dreams. I think it's the decontamination room. Decontamination? Huh. 
Huh, this is weird. Weird? I feel like I've been trapped in this room before. You must be imagining things. I guess. Wait, this button. It's the same for you, Carlos? You feel it as well? Yeah, not just her. I sense it too. Somehow, this button is very important. Maybe we've forgotten about this place. The drugs and the bracelets? What? Hey, look what time it is. It's after midnight. So, it's the next day? Not just day, but year. It's 2029 now. What a horrible start to the year. Now announcing the current casualties. C-Team, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. Q-Team, Q, Mira, Eric. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X-Passes will be revealed. Shift, six, ring, age, heart, love. That is all. Damn you, Zero! I will never forgive him! Diana, tell me one more time. You didn't choose to push it, did you? The button in the decontamination room. No. For a split second, it was as if... It was as if someone had taken control of my body. Has this ever happened to you before? Then maybe you hit your head somewhere. I don't think so. That I can remember, anyway. What are you trying to say, Fi? Well, I thought it might be possible it was... Alien Hand Syndrome. What? Alien Hand? It happens very rarely when the corpus callosum, where the right and left hemispheres connect, is abnormal. Remember, the right brain controls the left side, and the left controls the right. So if the communication paths that connect them are damaged, the left and right sides of your body may fall out of sync. Like trying to put a shirt on with your right hand, but taking it off with your left. Grabbing onto a scalding pan with your right hand while your left tries to make it let go. Or something even stranger, when your right hand attempts to suffocate you, so you use your left to restrain it. I've heard of cases where it's happened. An interesting development arises with that story. Where does a human's consciousness exist? Is it in the left brain or the right? When your right hand's choking you and your left's trying to stop it, that would imply that the part of you that doesn't want to die is in the right brain. But what if in the left brain... There's another part of you buried inside that does want to die. So if you ever ask that person, do you want to live or die? 
If the center for speech is located in the right brain, he'd clearly say, of course, I want to live. But what if it's the reverse? If the center for speech is in the left brain, then I'm sure he'd say, hurry up and kill me. There's no way to know which one is the true self. Or, perhaps, it's more like they both are. It's just simply that the one who has the power of speech is more dominant. Have you ever considered, what if your body was split into left and right? In that moment, where would your consciousness go? Left or right? Hey, Phi. What are you getting at with this? The alien mouth syndrome. My mouth speaks for itself, regardless of what I want it to do. How... how can you be joking around at a time like this? No, it's because we're in the situation that I brought it up. Well, like you said, it doesn't feel real. Hearing the announcement or reading on the board. You think those six might still be alive? Let's keep believing. There's no point. The six of them are, are definitely dead. How do you know? Well... I don't know. You all right, Cab? This guy doesn't know anything, does he? He's lucky. Well, we may as well get going. Like Sigma said earlier, we shouldn't lose hope. Let's have faith that they're still alive. Besides, that is even more of a reason that we must keep going. So we can go and bring back a rescue team? Exactly. Let's go! I'm... not... going. Huh? Hey! Diana! Wonderful acting. It's an excellent strategy. 
your actions in the decontamination room. I'm surprised you thought of it so fast. At that moment, all you wanted was to get out quickly. To make that a reality, it just happened that the fastest way was to touch a yellow button and kill the other six participants. However, pressing the button just like that would make you a murderer, a bad person. And even if you did escape after, in a court of law, what you did would be considered bad by judge and jury. So you thought, how could I make this not as bad for me? What you came up with was oh so simple. You simply need personalities. No! But to casually bring up the topic of multiple personalities, no one would believe you. The only way to make it believable was to do something unbeneficial to you. And that is why you refuse. We both know that Fi will bring the rescue team back to the shelter. You saw all of that in advance. No! 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 Let us meet again somewhere. Stop at Mata Dolorosa. I will be awaiting that moment. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, peace.